Welcome to another episode of Punch a Bunch. Last week we got some proper animation set up and made a pair of shorts. In this episode, we're gonna test out hit stopping, make our character ready for player customization, and work further on the combat system. We also make a horrible discovery. Hey, welcome back. Since we're making a fighting game, we should look at what other fighting games do well. A lot of you mentioned in the last episode that you'd love to see a hit stop mechanic in the game. I completely agree. I think it's definitely something we should try out and see how it feels, and I'm hoping it won't be too tricky to implement. If you're wondering what hit stop means right now, no worries, let me show you. Hit stop is a technique used in many fighting games which basically pauses the game briefly when you land a hit. This is done for two reasons. It will amplify the hit and make it less airy and more powerful feeling, and the other more subtle reason is for pacing. In a fast game like Street Fighter for example, a hit pause is used to give the players a moment to collect their thoughts on what is happening on the screen and act accordingly. Okay, so now that we know what hit stop is, let's try implementing it in the game. I'm hoping it won't be too tricky. I just hooked up the built-in pause feature Unreal has whenever we land a hit, activate a timer, and then unpause the game. It's probably not a solid solution, but at least it'll allow us to test it out for now. It's just not right for the game. Like, see, the game is supposed to be more on the physics-based side, so pausing the game like this just kind of ruins it. It just kind of snaps you out of that flow a little bit. Maybe you don't agree with me, but it just looks like it's like stopping. It doesn't feel right. However, I am wondering if maybe a slow-mo version of this could work a little better. So instead of just stopping the frame, we'll just slow it down a little and then come back up. That might actually be really cool. So I don't really know how to do that, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Give me a moment. I found a useful feature called Global Time Dilation, which provided a quick way for slowing down the game. I hooked this up to a timeline curve and triggered it whenever we punch, and boom! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Okay, you have to see this. This is so cool. Okay, check this out. Oh man, that is so cool, that is epic, 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 epic. It's okay Ziggy, it's just me. I think if we make it a bit less extreme and only do it when we land like a critical hit or something like that, then maybe we could get away with it. I mean, it just looks too cool to not have it somewhere. We have to have it somewhere. It looks so awesome. So it looks like hit stopping is not right for the game. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you really wanted it in there, but it just, I mean, let me know what you think, but I don't know, don't you agree? Like it just looked like we were halting the game more than anything. At least at this point, I feel like it didn't really work, so I'm gonna turn it off for now. But I definitely feel like the slow-mo stuff, we gotta have it in there somewhere. So uh, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna keep it there, don't worry guys, it'll be there. Uh, but for now we'll just turn it off because obviously all, it's also a little obnoxious when you're just testing stuff. But yeah, mark my words, slow-mo, it will be in the game, one way or another. And I'm so happy because it literally took me like five minutes to set it up. I just found that thing, put it in there and like, Boom! And it was working. Usually it takes me like, I usually try to show you like when things take time, but usually it takes like hours and sometimes days to just get simple stuff like this to work, which is also why it takes a while to make these devlogs. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I wish I could make more of them, but I can't. So we could make other videos though, maybe we'll see. Anyways, I'm very happy we tried it out. You know, good try, good try, but you know, sometimes things don't work out, do they? Let's just play around a little more with it. It's so cool. I haven't really been up to much this week. It's been, uh, been a little quiet. I've just been working on the game, really, and taking Ziggy for walks. <laughs> so, I've been reading your comments, and a lot of you are very enthusiastic about character customization. Of course we're gonna have character customization. I mean, come on. 
While the game isn't really in a state right now where we're ready to implement a full customization system, I'd like to start taking steps in that direction. See, right now both the opponent and our character are wearing the same colors, so it makes it a little confusing and you don't really understand what's going on, and a few of you have commented on that as well. So I'd like to start implementing a system where we can load any color for our clothes, and I want it to be future-proof so that we can actually then use this system when we build our character customization menu. I've been getting into the material editor of Unreal a bit more lately, and I still have lots to learn, but I figured out that for our boxers, instead of creating tons of materials for each color variation, etc., we're gonna use one master material and then use dynamic instances of that material which can be created when the game is running. We can use these to put any color we want on our shorts. This feels super neat and will most likely work really well with our future character customization system as well. I'm just playing around with the colors here and it looks uh, bad. <laughs> Uh, as soon as I deviate from the red-blue scheme we're going with, it just looks off. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I, I think I'm just gonna leave him like this for now. No matter what I do, it just looks weird, so uh, we'll have to figure that out later. The point is that we can differentiate between our characters, and right now we can, so... Oh! Oh, it's seven. Seven o'clock! Can you hear that? The seven o'clock cheering. Better chip in. I spent some time implementing a knockback system. The idea is that whenever you get hit with a hard punch, you get pushed back a little. I was having some minor issues getting this to work. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Maybe I need to reduce just a little bit on that. We have to implement that somehow. Come up with an idea of how we can make that a part of the game. But in the end, I figured out how to get it working properly. I also experimented with a different camera shake for when you hit your opponent. It's more of a zoom in effect rather than a standard camera shake to make you feel like you're gaining focus with each punch. I think it'll look pretty cool when you land powerful hits, but I'm gonna turn it off for now as I don't want to make you seasick while we do develop the game. I'm also turning off the knockback effect as it's a bit annoying when the character falls off the ring. Alright, I think we have a really solid base for our game right now. We have characters, we have some colors going, and we have a boxing ring, but I think now is the time to really focus on what the game is about. And I feel like at the heart of this game is the combat system. So that is what I'd like to focus on next. So, the first thing is to determine how hard we punch. Of course, the harder you hit, the more damage you're potentially dealing to your opponent, but you'll also be sapping more stamina out of yourself. So the question is, how will the player control how hard he or she is hitting? I started by creating some new punch animations that we can use depending on how hard you hit. I made a quick jab animation, a power strike, and an uppercut. I want a few animations to work with so that we can experiment with performing different attacks. We already made a hook animation last episode, so that's great. Now, the first punch approach I wanted to try is the classic hold and charge attack. The longer you hold the punch button, the longer you charge, and the harder you hit. I started working on setting up a charge animation and all that, and then it just hit me. I suck at Unreal Engine's animation system. I don't know how to use it at all. <laughs> so, I'm binge watching animation tutorials on YouTube. My first approach was the classic hold and charge attack. The longer you hold, the harder you hit. I tried both where you can hold as long as you want, but with a limit of how hard you can punch, of course, and also where you automatically hit as soon as you reach the maximum charge up time. This charge and hold thing is not working because, see, this is like a, an analog stepless trigger, right? So, but right now it basically does nothing to your punch. It's just like, it doesn't matter if you press just a little bit or all the way down. It's only a matter of time. And when you have a button like this, that makes it feel kind of weird. Like you'd expect some sort of correlation between, you know, if I press it a little bit, it should be a little bit of a lighter punch. And if I press it harder, there should be more force behind the punch. So I don't know that this is gonna work. Like it, another problem I'm noticing is the physical animation thing. See, it looks like I'm performing a hook, but actually these are straight punches. So if I turn off the physics system, you'll see what I mean. So you see, these are actually straight punches. I tried making him stronger, but it's still giving me the same result. And there's a limit to how strong I can make him without it being like, I might as well just turn it off, right? So it's a problem, but, um, and also, I hate those orange shorts. I, 
I'm just gonna make them black like the gloves for now and then like this is just looking ridiculous. <laughs> I tried a few other things where you have to hold down the trigger fully in order to start charging up the attack to make your finger pressure seem more important. I played around with the timing and at some point it just got so complicated that not even I understood how it worked anymore. Okay, I'm at the point now where I've been noodling around so much with this stuff that I have no f***ing idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I should just start over at this point, but I just, I can tell you that now all I see is spaghetti and I don't know what any of it does. And to add to that, nothing is working either, so great. Fish and kips. How's it going today? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Can I have uh, one piece of cod and chips? And you too? Y'all have the same, thanks. Sweet. Awesome, thank you. Yep. I got bored of the punching thing. I didn't. I couldn't get it to work, so we came down to the water to get some fish and kips instead. And if you're wondering what all the noise is, it's because you're inside a fountain. Look. Hopefully you don't get too wet. started raining so we stopped here for a bit see if it stops it's really cool man it just started pouring down I'm just completely soaked and the camera is completely covered in water this is my punishment for giving up on a problem and going to have fish and chips instead Okay, sorry. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my Trello situation. You know the tool I'm using to organize my stuff? What's going on with that light? Look, that light keeps flickering. Ikea garbage. What country did they make Ikea in? I don't know. Not Sweden, right? Whatever. So I wanted to give you an update on my Trello situation for all the organization nerds out there. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not really finding it that useful. The goals we have are, are great goals to have, but I find that it's not really useful on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I started using this other page. <laughs> yeah, so I created this new board where I've just been putting down much, much smaller tasks and it's been amazing. I basically sit down before each week and write down tasks that I'd like to accomplish throughout the week. And so then, whenever I sit down to, to work on the game, even if I just have half an hour, all I do is I look at this list, I just pick something to do and go. Like, it's so good. So any long-term goals is gonna go on the big board and then smaller tasks that I'm gonna do in the near future will go on the small board. I gotta fix that light. That's driving me insane, Swedish engineering. Oh, what? This again with the gloves? Yeah. <coughs> if we think about our charge-up thing, it's not exactly like, <laughs> When you're boxing, you need to like charge up like a, a powerful hit. Like it's, okay, it's pretty easy to just bang, hit quickly with full power. It's not really a problem. The problem is that you get tired really quick when you do that. So, you know, if we're gonna do the whole charge up thing, we might as well go with a, one of these cartoon ones, right? So with this in mind, I'm wondering how we can implement something that feels more like a real punch. With all this in mind, I completely abandoned the whole charge up time idea and decided to work only with how far down you press the trigger. Okay, this is feeling much better. Now the arm like really correlates to how you're pressing down. So if I press down slowly, the arm goes back. And if I just hold it down like this, he'll just hold his arm there. I did the animation so that he's holding the other arm forward. And you can sort of use this to distance from your opponent, you know, as if you're like keeping them away a little bit. When you release the button, you punch. So far, that has been by far the most natural feeling approach. And so this is feeling really good. Also, if you pull it back and you release it slowly, look, you'll put the arm back without actually punching. So 
You have to release it like quickly for him to punt. Okay, next challenge is to get the hook implemented back in the game. I think I got it working. So how it works now is you, you, you just lean to the one side and then as you're leaning to the other side like this, you just punch. And so it's basically just hooks. Yeah, it works. It works really well actually. Anyways, I think that we've made some really great progress on this stuff, but right now I only have it implemented on the right hand side and I'd love to start bringing this over to work on the left hand side as well so we can see what it feels like when we're using both hands. So I'm just gonna get into Blender and flop over all the animations and export them and then hook up in Unreal and get it working. And this is where the first major disaster happened. What I'm about to realize is that because of a small mistake I made early on, I will need to re-rig my character, remake all the animations, set up my skeleton in Unreal from scratch, and do a bunch of work inside Unreal to get things working properly. When I created the rig for our character, at some point I slightly changed the rotation on the right shoulder bone which broke the symmetry of the character. Because of this, whenever I try to mirror an animation from right to left, such as the block you're seeing, it doesn't look the same on the other side. You can see how the shoulder points up more on the right than the left. This means that the right hand punch wouldn't be the same as the left hand punch. This causes imbalance in the game and it has to be corrected. I'm just finishing up editing this video right now, uh, but I just wanted to add, if anyone has any suggestion, any at all, that might potentially save me from having to redo all this stuff, please drop me a comment, tweet me, whatever, just please, if you have any idea of anything I could try, please let me know. Uh, also, we're going away over the long weekend, it's Canada Day here, so we're leaving tomorrow and we're going to Vancouver Island. Which means that I won't be able to work on the game for a while, so instead of leaving you guys hanging for three weeks with no video, uh, I was thinking I might vlog it. So, uh, next video will be Vancouver Island vlog, and I'll see you then. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, it helps me out a lot. Leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah, I'll see you on the island.